Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we've got one system from the user Kerr Ebel and their system is called the Fist of Pride system. So let's see what they have prepared for us here. So this is the first of the new submission list as previously I cleared the previous list. So we've got a whole new list of stuff made in recent times and this one was actually made this month, uh, 2nd of July this was uh, submitted. So... Pretty cool. So I'm back from holiday now as well. So yeah, we've got fresh systems to check out. So let's do this. So where is it? The Fist of Pride system we are looking for. Uh, where are we? It should be at the bottom here. It is. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Looking very nice indeed so far. Got a nice size system. All right. So Fist of Pride, the star itself. Okay, so this is the first system in the Orion Systems Pack. Fissa Pride is a small K-type main sequence star in the Orion sector. Fissa Pride is located near uh, Mintaka, uh, Mintaka and it was colonized soon after the data barrier around the solar neighborhood collapsed in 1500 AD. During the Imperial Dark Age, Fissa Pride was the capital system of Empire of Orion. Every inhabited world in the system has a prestigious Imperial Guard re uh, Regiment. A regime blah, 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 and at least a few high rank members of imperial society at all times. Uh, asteroids in the system are named after uh, Mesopotamian uh, cities, the oldest being in the inner belt and the newest cities in the outer belt. Okay, cool. So, as we can see, first of the planets, Work of Fire. Work of Fire is a hot, tidy locked, rocky planet with a thin atmosphere and no moons. Sometimes, not now, you can see glowing hot rock on its day side. Uh, hey, nice. Cool. So, there it is, Work of Fire. Next up, we have got Hidden Sea of Shadows. I do like this already because I can say all the names. <laughs> so here it is. Hidden Sea of Shadows is a Venus-like world. Yeah, it does look very Venus. Uh, it's a Venus-like world with a thick atmosphere. Unlike a lot of hothouse worlds, this planet has liquid water underneath the clouds, given the planet its name. It also has two small moons, one bland and one colourful. So if we look underneath, there you go. Very, very green. Oh, ho, ho. okay. So I wonder how... Uh livable that water would be but there it is uh, hidden underneath that atmosphere so the moons is the first one so that's the more bland one and where's the colorful one i'm assuming it's this one there you go very nice looking good okay next up we got the palm of prosperity so where are we there it is it's an earth-like world Palm of Prosperity is a warm, hatable oceanic planet and is the main colony of the system. This planet is also known for its seaside resorts and rich flora and uh, fauna. It also has one small moon. I made this planet using the planetscaping tool. Okay. So it's got all the new features of the game in here. So cool. So there it is. So you can see very, very ocean heavy. A few islands to show up. So it's kind of like a custom map really. And look at that. Oh, that's pretty cool. Very, very nice indeed. Excellent. So there it is. Nice Earth flight world. Stats, 896 and 81. Very, very strong stats. And it also has a moon. Uh, where was it? Uh, there it is. So there you go. Looking good. Excellent. Next up, we have the Sky of Lilac. Just as a gas world large as well got a lot of stuff okay so sky of lilac is a large ice giant with majestic violet clouds given the planet its name it has four major moons and a somewhat simplistic ring system the largest moon sea of azure is hatable and colonized sea of azure is known for its vibrant blue oceans so there it is very very nice indeed if we check its stats pretty looking pretty good 81 but zero now why is it zero interesting maybe it's its atmosphere pressure 1.33 atm i wonder why that is then what's that temperature Minus six degrees. Hmm. Interesting. So there it is. And it also has some uh, other moons as well. Desolate Ridge. We've also got Wound in the Lilac Ring. So a small little, uh, so maybe like a shepherd moon chilling in there. Quite a large one, actually. And then lastly, we've got the Border of the Rings. Be for real. Okay. Cool. Next up, we've got Sapphire Kansas. Or Canvas, sorry. Uh, here it is. It's a nice blue world. A small ice giant with typical blue clouds. It has two major moons. One is large and the other is red and small. So we've got Frosted Veil. Vale. I like the names. They're pretty cool. Um, and then Ruby Gloom over here. Dark red. Okay. Next up we got Noble, yeah, Noble Glacier. Or Glacier. So 
Here it is. It's a super earth covered in about 200 kilometers of ice, likely with a hidden ocean underneath it, as one blue moon with ice patches. So there it is. Indigo Claw. Hey, there it is. So there's the ice patches, as you can see. Looking good. Then we have Inner Asteroid Belt. It's the smallest and contains six major asteroids. One is Proper Body Urak. So that is it here. So it's in a small asteroid belt. But there it is. That's probably the largest. That's like the series equivalent of this system. Then it also has one moon. Very nice. Okay. Next up, we've got Pale Eye of Heavens. Let's actually go on the lighting so we can actually see the belt as well. So, uh, oh, we are on enhanced. I can't, I can't really see the belt. It's pretty weird. Uh, next up, yeah, Pale Eye of the Heavens. I can see that little one there, actually. Okay. So, uh, it's the largest planet in the system, and of course, pale gas giant with two small sized moons. The inner one, Greenhouse, uh, was terraformed using its volcanism. Believe me, it has a yellow, orange, and green streaks. Okay, so where are we? Uh, here it is. Okay, looking good. So, colonized. There it is. A very, very greeny looking world. Okay, let's check its stats out. Why not? Not 89.2, but no life likelihood. Minus 15 degrees as well. Interesting. We also have another moon here, a second one. Okay, cool. This one kind of reminds me of Saturn, the way it looks. Got like a lot of white band there, it's looking pretty cool. Next up, we have got Pillar of the Mighty. It's a colourful gas uh, giant with a ring system. It has three major moons. The largest is similar to Titan. Forgot to remove water, so pretend it has stuff like hydrocarbons. Gold and ring braid. It's not entirely made of gold. While it has some, it was just named because of the colour. I added rings to the planet before naming it. Okay. Cool, so Golden Ring Breaker. Let's have a look. So there it is. It's looking good. Uh, then we have Desolate Glen over here. And lastly, the moon that's like Titan is this one, I'm guessing. Uh, hey, okay. Looking good. Also have like a golden yellow atmosphere. Very nice indeed. Okay. So then it's the main asteroid belt, which is this next area here. The asteroid belts look like they've been removed. Can't can't see them. Or are they there? There's a few things, but yeah, not much there. Uh, main asteroid belt has three major bodies: uh, Akkad, uh, Babylon, and Asur. So there's one there. So these are all yeah, all small minor objects there. Okay. Cool. Right, next up, we have got Ultramarine Gloom. It's the last planet in the system, a small ice giant with somewhat large rings. Uh, its only major moon is the largest moon in the system without water. I added rings here early too, so there's some rings. Then it's uh, Victorious Night is the moon. So one of the larger moons in the system. So there's that, 0.3 Earths in radius, okay. So to put that in comparison, we'll spawn Mercury. That's not too much off Mercury, is it? I mean, look, if we compare it to... It looks like it's a Callisto sort of size, so... A little smaller than Callisto, bigger than Io, I'm guessing, yeah. So it's a pretty large moon. We compare it to the moon itself, it's bigger than that, so pretty cool. Okay. Um, let's close that. All right. Next up, we have the outer asteroid belt. No particles, only bodies. Those are... So we've got, yeah, we've got... Uh, Baghad 211. Has one moon. I'm guessing these are all fairly basic looking, aren't they? Yeah, so it has a moon. Okay, and then yeah, that's obviously the same story with the uh, other two as well. So there we go. That is the Fist of Pride system. Very, very nice. Nicely detailed. I like the names. They're pretty cool. Nice different style to naming objects. Yeah, nice thumbs up for me. Really, really like that. So there we go. And yeah, again, that was from the user Kerr Ebel in Discord. So massive thank you to them for sending in their system. And also, guys, if you'd like to send in your own systems for this series, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description where you can upload your systems in our dedicated upload chat. The chat is currently open for you to upload, but it probably will be closed in about a week's time, as I've already got about 50 systems to check out. So that's another 50 episodes worth of wait time. That is crazy. You guys love having these in, don't you? I mean, that is... Yeah, you got, you got my work cut out here. That is a lot of systems to get through. So we'll probably have to do a stream and catch up at some point. But yeah, anyways... Again, a massive thank you for watching today's video, guys. Let's see if we can go to 60 likes on this video as well and also push for that 25,000 subscribers. We are so close now. Really, really appreciate all the support, guys. And, yeah, thanks again for watching the vid. But with that all said and done, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.